Good morning, good day or good evening everybody and welcome to Nordic Hobby Visions. I am Michael and I'm back in my small little hobby room here. So it's been about a while since I posted any videos here. It's been absolutely hell or I would say hard work doing all these things at the same time. I've been trying to keep up with my main RC channel Nordic RC Visions. So I haven't had any time to do any spontaneous uploads videos. So this is a good chance and a good day for that. I am currently at the second day in my vacation. So hopefully there will be a little more hobby time from now on. So the last six months I have been absolutely drowning in work and all the work with this new house we have moved into and a lot of going back and forth between jobs and the new home. Everything is clearing up now. I hope it will be better in the next couple of months, but it will definitely be a, a good time here in the la next month or so. I hope you are having a good summer. It's rainy and thunder right here in Scandinavia, Denmark. Sometimes we have a A-OK, -okay, good week, good days with some sunshine, but mostly it's a lot of wind and rain. I hope you are having a good time in your summer vacation or heading towards some vacation time. Just a quick enough babbling, yeah. Just a quick update. I got a few more cars here, secondhand models that I would like to go through very quickly. Maybe even throw in on some couple of other projects that I've been looking forward starting beginning with for maybe one year or at least half a year, but haven't had the time for it. So for those interested, Stay tuned, we will go to the bench and have a look at the models. So first up, I would just like to share a couple of spontaneous purchases. These are all secondhand trucks that I got recently. Just been waiting for the price to drop and when the price was recent, decent enough, I just got them for some projects. This is actually a Tamiya, Tamiya, Tamiya Super Levant, an e Revo VXL Brush uh, 116 Mini e Revo Traxxas, and an HPX Stealth X09. Here is my old, half a year old, brand new Super Levant. I've been running a couple of test runs with it on grass and it's been tumbling around but nothing seriously has broke or misshaped or anything. A couple of battle wounds but that's it. The problem I've had with this is that while I have a lot of spare parts for the Levant, the suspension system and the gearbox system is the same for the Super Levant and the Levant. I do not have any spare bodies or spare chassis and this is getting pretty rare and if you're not lucky like I am to find them cheap these are getting more and more expensive. So these are becoming kind of collector's item from an era where Timia tried to get into the brushless trucking market with this kind of e Revo. Uh, Rustler body with this. It has been reused with the Vatra and the uh, Acroshot recently. But I wanted to keep this pretty much intact for the shelf too because I got other bashers for the hard stuff. So one way to do that is to find another brand new, almost brand new Levant. This has definitely never had any tumbles and the 
RTR body is as good as new. So I can actually now go bashing with my other Levant. I will probably take this one apart. Again, I can use all the suspension and gear systems for both the Levant and Super Levant and I got this spare chassis for my Super Levant. And I got a brand new uh, TBL E01 and TBL M01 8 turn motor for something else. And some standard radio systems, Tamiya radio and server systems for my re-release builds, which I like to do all full blood Tamiya. So another car that I used to own uh, previously, this is the Mini E Revo VXL. E Revo is actually a pretty hard word for a Scandinavian or Danish person. I had one last year and I kind of like it. liked it for the bashing stuff and throwing around in the air. And but I was living in the city in a small apartment back then, so I had to let some cars go to make room for other cars. I don't know why I let this go, actually. It's pretty small and could be kept pretty neat, tucked away somewhere. But I did, and now it's back in another form. So this was part of a deal with the next truck I'll show you. Bought two trucks from the same owner. And I just kept watching this on a local um, dealer market, secondhand dealer market, and it just kept dropping in price. Nobody wanted to buy it because it was not fully ready to run. It misses a servo here. This one has broken down and is pretty glitchy. So at the time when it got to a price range where I couldn't resist, I got them both and I got them for a price where it can actually pay off to upgrade the server to a Savox, which I already has ordered. So I will be upgrade switching out the servo. And one surprise with these second hand models is this. So I need to get a new A-arm too. The rest of the truck seems perfectly fine. The Valinian ESC and motor is perfectly fine and just needs a very thorough cleanup. And I probably will also get a new body for this. Kind of not something special but kind of make it my own. Just one color, red or blue or something like that because I'm getting a bit tired of this this design. Not my favorite design at all, but it's a fun truck to run. And if it gets a new body, it will be fine for me. So from the same seller, I got this. This is a 1 10th scale truggy or truck, uh, four wheel drive. It's an HBX high boxing. If somebody knows that brand, I've had a few of them, a couple of them on my other channel. It's actually also the brand that got me started again and my first hobby great car was an HBX. I'll just show you it quickly a couple of minutes. Not my favorite <laughs> looks again, but at the same time together with the e Revo, he dropped in the price range where I just couldn't resist getting them both at the same time. It has an upgraded, some kind of generic, I don't know if you can see it, some kind of generic brushless system here. It works fine, everything works fine. It needs a new spur gear, which I think I have at hand. So again, a seller who <laughs> didn't want to repair 
a servo and a spur gear and couldn't get rid of his cars and so I got them cheap. These are not the original tires either, or wheels. I think they're from uh, Stampede or something. It's definitely tracks as the same kind of thread pattern as the e Regal has. This is a heavy truck, much too heavy. It's got the alloy chassis and tires and brace here, upper deck. So in my opinion, when I had it the last time, I think you can find <laughs> some early videos with it on my channel, Nordic RC Visions. I just found it a bit slow for these kind of uh, 1 tenth scale, 540 or 550 motors. So it could probably need a great deal of upgrade to pull this, I don't know, two kilograms or three kilograms trucks. And I, the alloy isn't the best quality and the plastic isn't the best quality either. HBX has actually improved a lot since they made these early trucks and buggies and cars. So these are actually made of kind of cheap alloy and cheap plastic, but they do quite fine if you don't throw them, throw them off of a building or something like that. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. I'm probably gonna changing this to a standard HBX system and use this for something else. And maybe convert it to a plastic, uh, plastic chassis. I got a lot of those. I'll just show you the buggy that that use the same system. So basically it's the same car. I have a lot of spare and different kind of bodies. This was my first hobby grade car. So it's not a runner right now. I need to fix some things. But this is a restored and got all the metal gears and four-wheel drive as the other. The only difference is that the A-Arms suspension is of course shorter in you know, the buggy version and this together with a couple of other similar trucks got the uh, plastic chassis. So I think this video has been going on for a long enough time and I'll keep you posted about the other projects which I didn't make it to in this video but generally there's a lot of Tamiya projects upcoming hope to find some time but I'll start cracking on this e Revo, find out what I do with this stealth and I will probably disassemble this one and use it for parts that's it for today folks so I as said, I hope you are having a great summer and I will see you hopefully soon. A lot of my vacation time will probably be, probably be spent together with my family speaking Danish <laughs> off camera. But I hope to do a couple of videos this summer too before work kicks in again. I will see you again. Hope you're having a happy hobby time and keep them running.